Hey there, my name is Kamala and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create your product animated videos like this. On Canva, so stick around. So basically, you know, there are two ways to create a design on Canva, right? So is it, you can either use the Canva application, use, using the Canva app installed on your devices, be it your mobile phone, your uh, tab, or whatever you want to use, right? And the second way is to use your Canva, use the Canva for web, rather, right? And um, by so doing, it's using your computer. So you can either you go to www.canva.com on your computer, your laptop, whatever um, computer you're using, right? And um, so um, in today's video, I'll be using my computer. So you won't be seeing more of my face, right? because I'll be sharing my screen to be showing you the process of how to do it. So um, let's go. All right, um, so here I am on my Canva website. Uh, basically, there are two ways to do the um, animation design for your product, right? And, um, so and it depends on the, which the device you're using to access Canva. So now the first, if you're using the computer, all you need to do is to come here. Once you tap on the, the all your design here, where my cursor is here, which is the second option you're going to tap on all your design i want to tap on all your design you select the dimension of design you want so because i am using my computer i'm going to select on the video directly however if you're using your mobile application which is on your phone so you need to select um either the instagram post or any other dimension but i best suggest you select instagram post so once you select the instagram post then you need to add the video directly manually so but because um the on your computer you can have the access to the video that's this. So I'm going to be using the video direction, which is this one here, 1920 by 1080 here, right? So I'm going to be opening it. So this is what I'll be working with, right? And like I said, if you're using the uh, your mobile application, which is if you want to do the animation on your phone, you can still achieve it. But what you need to do is use the Instagram dimension. So once you do that, yeah, you add like a video. You can just search for a video in the Canva library. So to search for the video in the Canva library, so add the video make it very small and reduce the transparency to like maybe like zero until this video disappear right so once you do that then reduce the video to like maybe three or 0 0.3 0 0.5 seconds depending on the time you want for the transition but don't worry i will explain as we go right <laughs> so i'm just gonna wait for my uh my video to yeah my page to load for a few minutes so as you can see now automatically this uh this is my design space so automatically it appears as a video as you can see, the first slide here has uh, five seconds, right? So, yes, it, it, that's what I mean by it. So, uh, uh, these five seconds is actually too long, at least for me, right? So, because I want the transition to be, like, very quickly as possible. So, I'm going to, the first thing I would do is to reduce this timing, right? So, I'm going to reduce the timing from maybe, let's say, five seconds to probably 0 0.3 or 0 0.5, depending, right? So, I will, I will tap on the timing here. Oh, uh, so I'm just gonna give it a few seconds to load properly. All right, so I'm just gonna reduce it here. So can say, okay, this is zero point one. Okay, let me just do zero point. Let's see. Yeah, I think point three is okay. All right, so uh, that's what I mean because um, it's a video. That's why it's it's kind of like uh, wide like this. So like I said, if you're using your mobile application. You need to select the Instagram post. Instagram post will be somewhere like this. It won't be yeah. It's it won't be this wide. So then you come to your uh, the video, select the video, and then reduce. Once you select the video, you also reduce the timing like this. Just add the video somewhere here, but make it very small, and then reduce the transparency, right? And uh, but because we're using the uh, computer, so let's move forward, right? Now uh, now I have my um design space. The first thing I want to do here is to uh, probably add a background color to it before i go proceed to add my object which i'm gonna work with right so first let me add my color here and to do that i'm gonna tap on the white space here this design space here so i'm just gonna tap on it and then select the background color here all right so because i love yellow we're gonna begin with yellow <laughs> all right um so the next thing is to add my uh, the objects, the image that I, that I want to be transitioning, right? Um, so first of all, I'm going to add uh, the, okay, let's see. 
I just gotta look for a particular product. I could look for a shoe, a wristwatch, something that can actually change the color frequently, right? And, uh, okay, so let me just look. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down to see if I have a picture of any product here. Let's see. Oops, sorry, too many cartoons. Sorry, I love to work with cartoons a lot. All right, I think this is perfect. So let me just use this bag as an example, right? So I'm just gonna add this bag here like this. Oh, let's talk. You can't do this, not now. <laughs> so uh let me just increase the size a bit all right so this is the bag i would have been working with this bag all through so all i need to do now is just keep adding a new page and then changing the color now um so if you're using the canva for web which is on the on your computer like this in the canva website so it has an option to change to add an effect to your image so that's changing the colors however like i mentioned earlier if you're using your mobile devices if you want to do that you don't have an even the effect on your device so which means you have to have like different color of the product you are trying to animate the it add it, it, it here and then keep adding them one after the other on each page but what i'm going to do here is this so since i have my first page already here so i'm just going to duplicate the page here to with this icon here as you can see duplicate page so this is my page two now as you can see page two so i'll just tap on the bag here the object here they'll come to effect here no so i'll just tap on my effect here i'll just tap on my effect so i'm going to come to this uh second uh, the third option here this one that says color mix here let me scroll down for you to see that so color mix i'm going to tap on c all and then select the color particularly that i want right so now i have the new so i'm going to select this uh this popular color here it's going to change the color for me so okay so just give it a few seconds to change the color so once the color changes you just keep doing the same thing you just keep duplicating the page it will keep duplicating the page um <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna click on uh apply let's see um so we have uh let's see um, let me see we have one we have the brown we have the purple we have the red and uh, like the blue okay yeah so let's do like a few more so again duplicate tap on it effects um, so uh normally if you're using the camera and sharing your screen the screen is normally um slow which is why i'm trying to like um, fast forward it, the video right however if you're using the if I, it's because i'm sharing my screen that's why the network is kind of like dragging me down or uh, but it's not usually this slow i promise <laughs> it's not usually this slow right so i'm just gonna tap on my color mix wait for it to load a bit and then add another color like that like that so i um so i want to actually have at least about eight to ten different uh slide to work with with different colors of bag so that way it's actually usually it's actually very easy and uh, much more fun when i'm actually playing the video right um so uh, let me just give it a few so i'm just gonna select this and then apply and boom we are good to go let's see okay i, I think we have up to uh nine all right perfect so let me just preview and show you how it's gonna look like in the real life so this is exactly what we're trying to achieve <laughs> with all the struggles right so you can see the shiny the chain the way it's actually transition from one color to another which is pretty much very easy and um, direct and straightforward right no much also like that all right so meanwhile, like I was just explaining earlier, if you're using your mobile phone, right, which is the Canva application, all you need to do is come to oh, create a design here and then, okay, create a design here. Then you select the Instagram post here, this one, which of course, you know, uh, it has no video. So we need to actually um, manipulate it, <laughs> so to speak, right? So you need to add a way to um, include our video so that um, the essence of the video is for the... Um, for the images to transition to change in color as they are moving so there needs to be something there 
behind the scene or like underground that are actually mixing which is the video so which is why we are going to actually manipulate adding our own video here so remember like i said in the beginning that you need to add a video reduce the transparency um change the color or whatever like i explained earlier so um i just wanted to go in depth to explain to you so that you really understand what i'm saying right so um okay we're just gonna give you a few seconds to load here so we're gonna add a video here automatically ourselves right and then um make it so that you can actually transition um okay let me just give it a few seconds to load uh, okay yeah so from the video library here i'm just i'm just gonna tap on any video here to bring it on here as you can see so the first thing you need to do once you bring your video is to um reduce the video also it is the video in size then of course you change the uh the length as you can see here it's 6.5 so again we're going to reduce it to uh maybe let's say 0 0.3 i think 0.3 is okay like we did for the first one right as you can see then the third thing you just need to do here like i explained is to reduce the transparency and to do that just come here tap on the uh transparency here bring that to and then boom as you can see the video is as good as god so i can just come here add my color here as you can see then add your bag also add your bag they keep duplicating and boom you're good to go right so pretty much that's how to um, use the transition on your mobile application but remember you need to have different color if you're using your mobile phone because you can't have the um, effects to change the color from your mobile phone right so there you have it guys how to create animation videos for your product using the canva application so please feel free to let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this class or this tutorial rather <laughs> so um also please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also most importantly hit the notification bell so that way you won't miss any of my videos right so have a wonderful time have a wonderful day be good stay safe bye, -bye. Thank you.